Well, I was saying in the beginning of the show that I'm um, spending time with my nieces, that uh, J- uh, JJ, Sarah, and uh, Lizzie. And it's so funny. You sit down and talk to these guys. Everything, if you're not, like, if you don't watch television, if you don't watch a show, you don't binge, so many conversations come around to, are you watching that? Or have you seen this? Have you seen that? And I... I realized I had turned into my dad. We used to watch MTV. God, I loved MTV when I was a kid. And we'd sit there, my brother and I, waiting for like some, sh- you know, oh, Robert Palmer, Bottazel, face it, you're addicted to love with the girls with the, mm-hmm. they're all the makeup on, the super type, like, like, oh, I hope that comes on, right? And my right. father would wander in the room every once in a while. And no matter what it was, it was a black guy, he'd go, who's that? Is that Michael Jackson? I'm like, no, dad. <laughs> Or a female singer. Who's that? Who's that? Madonna? That's it. He had, that was his range. Madonna? Who's that? Michael Jackson? And a black woman. A black singer. A black female singer. He didn't know who that was. His head is exploded. So I'm at this auction on Saturday in Alabama. And you're like, well, there'll be many celebrities there. Holy camoly. Um, uh, Danny Glover? Which I recognize Danny Glover. But a lot mm-hmm. of other people. And they're like, and my friend who helped, who, who invited me to it. Basically, I had all of a sudden turned into my father because my this guy invited me, Julie, and said, you'll recognize a lot of these celebrities and feel free while you're on stage to call them out. I had no idea. We have all the celebrities right down front. Okay, you ready? Jacob, do you know who J- uh, J-Wow is? That sounds very... Is that a uh, Jersey Shore person? Okay, yeah. I had no idea. Okay. Oh. Do you know who J-Wow is? No. Sherry? Never heard of him. Is it him? <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, you would have been a lot of help. She is uh, she is from Jersey Shore. She's the eighth main cast member from MTV Jersey Shore, and of course, she's the one that goes with Rob, Robert Matthews. You know, Robert, you know, whatever the guy's name is. So they were all there, and every once in a while, they would all the Jersey Shore people, and I didn't recognize any of them. So then someone kept saying to me, "All you need to do is just yell out every once in a while." Uh, GTL. Do you know what GTL stands for? Uh, no, I don't. Jacob? Jim Tan Laundry. Thank you. What? What is that? Oh, no, no, but where, where, where were you, Jacob? Where were you? I'm, on the, I'm like my dad up there. Hey, Madonna. Hey, Michael Jackson. Hey, Madonna. I mean, I was so pathetic. Thank you, Madonna, right down front with the bid. Now back to Michael Jackson. Thank you, Michael Jackson, to $10,000. And it's just, they're like, what? Who? Michael Jackson's here? Oh, my God. Andrew Wang was there? Nope. Never heard of him. Jacob? This one I don't actually know, I don't think. Isn't what's the guy's name that ran for um, president? Andrew Yang. Oh, oh Andrew Yang. Oh, shoot. Yang. Oh, shoot. Wow, wow, wow. Bad, bad. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Asian Michael Jackson. Andrew, what's his last name? Yang. 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 Shoot. Oh, God, how embarrassing. <laughs> I called him Wang like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> he was the only slave I recognized, so I kept pounding away at him. I was, I was like, hey, I'm a woman sitting right next to Andrew Wang. <laughs> Yang. <laughs> did, he give you a, did he give you a thousand bucks a month like he wanted to give everybody? <laughs> he wanted to give me a kick in the teeth for not knowing his last name. <laughs> and then Danny Glover goes on stage. She looks horrible. He could hardly walk, and they got him up there. He gave a big... And they, Danny Glover's going to talk for no more than two minutes. You're going to get on. We were 57 minutes behind by the time I got on. Danny Glover walks off stage, and as he's walking over, he picks up my water. We're backstage. He's drinking my water, and then he reaches over. I have like a little... Because I sweat a lot up there, because I don't know anybody's name. And he picks up this towel, my towel. And with that, he puts it on his bald head and does the thing like, you know, bald-headed people will do. They'll mm-hmm. put their put your towel on their head and then wipe their entire head, even the back of their head, mm-hmm. all, and then they pull it all the way down to the front oh. of their face and then wipe all around. Then they roll it to the back of their neck and then down the front of their décolletage area. <laughs> and then he puts the thing down. I'm thinking, well, okay, it's probably about 30% full of moisture. So it's got a little bit le- a little bit more sort of wicking uh, action I can have. But the rest of the night, I smelled like Danny Glover's sweat glands. <laughs> like he was wrapping an entire towel, much like the invisible man would be like before going out in the morning, wrapping himself up so people would recognize him. That's what he did with my towel. And then all night, every time I'd reach over to like wipe my face, I'm like, he comes a big... <laughs> Big nose full of Danny Glover. Oh, gosh. That I, was, I, I, I didn't say it was a bad thing.